and then this bit I thought was really interesting because it says here what, uh, what do you see as your destiny she says right now the vibes I'm getting are very much about tolerance kindness and love I'm cancelling cancer culture and putting an end to this black and white thinking um, people shouldn't be defined by their darkest moments as humans we commit violence to each other we police each other we've created such a hostile environment especially on the internet that's why I don't read the headlines um, she says you don't read so you don't read the comments she says no and that's why I feel like I'm I'm really good candidate for this position because a lot of people in my shoes would probably be reading the comments and freaking out i'm not trying to have everybody love me i'm just trying to connect with the people that are like-minded i like that but that also brought me on to because she mentioned cancel culture and i think kanye has mentioned that a few times and i'm intrigued by his perception of cancel culture because obviously he feels like he was cancelled somewhat when he was going through his trump love affair which looking back was ridiculously embarrassing basically saying trump is my dad and i've not had a dad in my life and he's like my dad and shit like wearing the red hat to just antagonize black people it just it felt like a real bad troll which obviously you know didn't really resonate with a lot of people basically led to a lot of people jumping off the kanye train but then you know he makes good music he makes cool clothes so they jump back on it again but clearly he's got a a personal I won't say vendetta, but it's definitely something that he feels strongly about when it comes to cancel culture because throughout his entire career, people have tried to cancel him for various things he's done. But it seems like he's also decided during his reawakening or career commitment to Christ that he somehow decided that he now wants to be the savior of people that are canceled using his platform in a, in a weird way, right? Because obviously he's in a position where he's kind of impervious to being canceled because he's too rich in terms of you know he's got fuck you money where he can basically say and do what he wants and he's basically inoculized yeah, himself from basically the consequences that most of us suffer from if we do kind of some harebrained things and of course because he's supremely gifted and talented in these various fields that he endeavors in it always allows him some leeway you know it was only just like i said it was only a few years or a couple years ago i felt like all black people in the u.s hated kanye and now suddenly he makes a good album he basically you know makes a couple of good songs and maybe says some crazy shit online and people are now suddenly in love with him so you know things kind of go to and fro but the interesting thing i thought about it was that this picture happened to get on internet with um kanye being seen see yeah this is the one kind of being seen in your studio with alexander wang and alexander wang as most of you know is a famed fashion designer who went through a bit of turmoil a couple of years ago when a few people came out and basically accused him of sexual assault basically accused him of being handsy accused him of being creepy and you know whatever this party boy um, party boy image he basically had in terms of his brand it, people basically I'm, I'm, you know this guy here i think yeah this is the kid he basically exposed the dark side of it right and um, let's quickly revisit the article here uh yeah redirect please if you can don't mind it yeah so this is male model claims alexander wang groped his crotch at a crowded nyc club in 2017 okay got it go away in 2017 um as a flood of other male models and trans people say they were too drugged with mdma and assaulted so it's one thing to say he was cancelled because he was being too handsy but if i remember the story correctly that's what i remember someone said i think that kid might have said that he allegedly was given a bottle and it might have contained ketamine come out and i'm not sure what it was but whatever it was made him go a bit loopy and suddenly he was in the room suddenly he was getting grubbed and suddenly things were happening right so crazy shit like stories that were quite dark in nature and if I remember correctly, first of all, he came out and vehemently denied it. He was obviously saying he didn't do it. And then more stories came out. And then begrudgingly, it felt like he kind of accepted responsibility. He obviously didn't expect, didn't accept all responsibility because of, I'm assuming some pending legal cases hanging over him. And he essentially kind of moved on pretty quietly and silent behind the scenes. And if I'm not mistaken too, um, I'm sure I remember seeing an article where he might have met up with some of the accusers. And then maybe they kind of, you know, um, you know he maybe read out a check to some people and they basically dealt with it behind the scenes quietly and shook hands and moved on but the accusation against him was pretty serious in the same sense when it comes to um marilyn manson marilyn manson i think was cancelled because a couple of ex-girlfriends maybe one maybe it was one maybe it's a girl from westworld the actress basically came out and said you know with the relationship with him was hell and he was abusive emotionally and physically you know again some really dark stuff but for whatever reason, Kanye's decided to basically stand next to these guys. And he did the same thing with the baby when he went through his thing with those flipping them crazy comments that he made that um, rolling loud. But with the baby, you know, you say words, but with these actions, I feel like this is a bit of a step too far in terms of trying to be the uncancelable police officer out there. Because as much as 
I have my feelings on cancel culture have always been that I hate it in terms of the structural cancel culture that especially happens in music or happens in entertainment where if you do something wrong the industry decides to end your career so they take away your jobs they don't hire you anymore you can't go and audition you don't get invited to put like all these things you don't do so you basically have a no ability of putting food on your table and supporting your family Whereas the counter culture that I'm a no counter what, what I prefer to see, especially not the structural one, it happened even with Six Nine, right? Six Nine, obviously, you know the the rapper that you know famously went and testified against the entire gang that he came up with, and basically gave people double double digit flipping life sentences and stuff. Obviously, he's a piece of shit, right? Clearly, no one should be doing that, especially if you commit yourself to that lifestyle. You shouldn't be going around and snitching on the people that you kind of do the crime with. You should be able to take your time like a man. You know, you, you accept the fruits of that lifestyle that it gives you. You should just accept the consequences which might be death in prison but he obviously didn't want that and he obviously snitched cool we cannot like him as a society we can say that we don't want to listen to his music as a culture we might say hey we're gonna make a stand and not listen to it maybe go out and pick it and protest cool but i don't think the in the industry the music industry should be allowed to basically not allow him to put his song on a playlist not allow him to perform in certain venues not book him at certain shows i think that cancellation is whack i'm not a fan of it at all if the customers if the public decide that they don't like what you have to serve anymore they don't like the work that you present and they all kind of turn their back on you cool that's no problem but i don't like the industry deciding that you can't have a career or that you can't eat and you can't do this so i understand the sentiment that connie is coming from where these people who made them made mistakes or made errors have now have no ability to kind of do what they love or do what kind of allows them to support their family but there's also an element of me that feels like for you and i when it comes to our actions there's always a consequence that we have to kind of suffer through we have to kind of walk through we kind of have to endure there's no just waking up and it just goes away whereas with this when it comes to this sort of stuff and seeing Kanye sit, sat down with you know alexander wang considering kind of what he was obviously accused of it just feels like a it just feels a bit not say inventory but it just feels like a little bit of a naive way to look at cancel culture as if like oh he's a great artist he obviously contributed a lot to fashion he's obviously somebody that people love but in terms of this gross thing that he did he needs to kind of account for that gross thing first and then when people the society decide it's okay to get him back to society welcome back but this idea that you kind of want to thrust somebody front and center and say no he's uncanceled because i said so that's whack industry wise i'm again i'm not a fan of it if like new york fashion week have decided not to run any shows or brands are pulling out in terms of sponsoring and again these are all consequences of your actions fair enough but cancel culture should always kind of be <clears throat> left in the hands of the consumers of the customers they should decide if you ha want to have a career or not have a career it shouldn't be in the hands of industries and it also shouldn't be in the hands of one singular person that kind of has to be like hey you know for instance like you don't see him positioning the victims of this crime next to him right he's not doing that he's got the person that obviously did the crime allegedly sat next to him and it just feels a little bit it feels whack man i'm not gonna lie especially being a fan of kanye and obviously loving what he's done over the years and especially when it comes to creatively i'm just not a fan of it i, I understand the argument about it i understand we have to live in a world where people because the, the bad thing about cancer culture at the moment is that there is no kind of path to redemption so obviously what i was what he did was super dark and i think personally for me if you're if you've got that kind of darkness in you again allegedly that would lead you to go and spike someone's drink in order to take advantage of them sexually i don't think you could ever take that away so you're always you're a bit of a writer for me that's a wrong and stuff like, yeah you maybe go you do some fraud um i don't know you rub someone's house for a laptop and you sell it because you don't have any money to pay your rent minor thing right in in the scope of things but you going out and assaulting somebody like that in that way shape or form that's darkness that i can't even be around and if your path to redemption is there cool but you do it on your own but also i feel like there needs to be like a path to redemption in all things in life there needs to be a way for you to kind of be able to kind of atone for your sins because if not what's the point of living right because we're all going to make mistakes we're not obviously not to that level but we're all going to make some level of a mistake we have to be able to kind of rectify those mistakes in some way shape or form but so far in society we live in it seems like it's one strike and you're out you do one thing that people don't like and immediately they write you off and there's no way of you coming of coming back into people's good graces unless your friends kind of gather around you and kind of huddle you in and say no no no, no we're going to support this person which they don't usually so it's maybe admirable in kind of doing that way because people don't do that in most walks of life even just in our walk of life regular people let, let alone when it comes to entertainment people who have sponsors and brands and 
agents and managers in their ear telling them not to stand against that person because they're bad for business so the fact that he's doing that anyway is a good thing but i still think you know i'd much rather him seeing you know sitting down with maybe the people that were victims of this crime and maybe trying to see if there's anything you can do to help them out in that way shape or form or maybe reconciling with these people behind the scenes that would be a far better use of his time than just you know sitting up there trying to basically say no i've decided to uncancel him because reading this interview with julia fox it feels like that's definitely something that he's been speaking about quite often um when it comes to uh how he views society and how he wants to kind of change things right which again i understand because he's got a personal attachment to it because he's been through a lot of things himself right but i just i don't know man. i'm just not a fan of this I, I, I don't like it i don't like it one bit especially regarding the crime you know supposedly this guy's going around drugging people in parties so he can take advantage of them sexually and now you want to sit next to him and say he's uncancelled because what he makes cool pants he makes cool trainers he makes cool jackets like it's like nah that's that's i'm not for that at all i'm gonna be honest i'm just